All right, bear with us. We're going to have a lot of X's and T's in this review because we took a look at a new Fujifilm camera. They love their X's and their T's over they there. Do. This is the X. T10, yes. not to be confused with the X-T1 that you and I reviewed uh, not too long ago, right. or the X100S that Scott and I reviewed. Which I own. You own, and I own the X100T. And I love. And I love mine too. But the X-T10 is kind of like in the middle point. It's not like our fixed 100 series cameras. No, it's and it's not like the big brother X-T1. It's, no. it's kind of a little more consumer friendly with a more consumer friendly price point. Well, yes, I mean, it's still expensive, of it course, is, yeah. but this is a very high-end camera. This one is much more compact, but what I love about it is the fact that it is so compact. Yeah. What's even better with this new XT10 is the autofocus lock. Yeah, so you're going to get much better shots where subjects yeah. are moving, like uh, a very fast-moving kid, for example. And then you can also pick spot focusing, and you can go a little bit wider if you've got a group shot or you're yeah. trying to get a, a lot of stuff in focus. Because there's a lot of function buttons here. Yes, and, but suffice to say, focusing, which has been been a general concern with a lot of cameras, but I think with the X line in the Fujifilm, I mean, it's been something that you've had to kind of fiddle with, whether you go with the fixed lens like we have or you go with X-T1. I think this is some of the strongest focusing firmware that we've seen so far. Now, the good news is that Fuji is going to start to filter that firmware probably to the other cameras in their X line, which is great news for existing users like us. Yeah. But you're right, though. Once you start fiddling with some of these interchangeable lenses and you start getting some great zooms and some incredibly new angles on the detailed shots that you want to take you do get that pull you know and it's been it's been amazing to have something a little bit more portable with the X100T yes. but when i look at this it's not that bad in terms of size or half their weight and the lens flexibility is pretty damn incredible. That's the only thing though, it's the lenses. When you have a camera like this and you know that you can change the lens, that's exactly what I'm gonna wanna do. Also invest in that lens as well, so it no and longer becomes it, portable. A backpack is what it, you're carrying yeah, around. Yeah, I know, exactly. Right? Everything is programmable. <laughs> There's lots of cheesy but still fun, like toy camera effects and things like that in the advanced filters. Oh, you love that. I do like to play around with all that stuff. What are you gonna give the X-T10? It gets an eight. It gets an 8.5 for me.